That was Sakura Josui Funakoshi here in Sakura Josui. And I'm here with Nam, aka Kuma Ramen in Berlin. You will soon find a ramen shop made by him in uh, Berlin. And we just had some really great shio ramen here in uh, Sakura Josui at Funakoshi, relatively new shop that does, uh, I would say, a little a bit of a different spin on shio ramen. Uh, they also have shoyu ramen, but I would say uh, eight to 90% probably go for their shio ramen here. And uh, what they do is like they do a mix of uh, pork, chicken, and beef, and uh, create a kind of thick, almost like python style uh, soup. That uh, you know, if you're not familiar with those terms, then think of a, a creamy tonkotsu, something like that. That would be yeah the most similar uh, in terms of mouth feel and thickness and richness. And uh, yeah, it, it, I think this uh, shop has kind of like stormed the ramen world uh, recently got really good reviews and what was your impression i really like the diversity of the bowl we had like so many crunchy expect also like the different toppings especially the red chasu the chinese barbecue pork amazing absolutely amazing yeah um the toppings here are another point or another selling point of this shop uh, the recommendation here is definitely to go for extra wontons, so at least go for their wonton men that they offer. I think the regular bowl, if you don't get any other toppings, uh, only comes with a little bit of chashu. And if you're really hungry and it's the only bowl that you're eating for lunch or dinner, then maybe go all out and get their tokse, their chashu wonton men with the extra chashu, because the chashu here is made, yeah, as he said, like Chinese style with like the nice red rim. So you have like this really nice barbecue flavor here. Um, it's really tender it kind of like melts away as you bite into it uh, overall just a really uh, fantastic eating experience i also got the ajitama here perfectly executed it's like you know what the people want the jammy egg you know the the gooey oozing uh, egg yolk but also really nicely flavored uh so it, all around great package here Funakoshi should be on the travel itinerary of every ramen head uh, going forward, especially if you're a fan of shio ramen, if you want to try a little bit something different other than those clear soups, those clear chintan uh, shio ramen. And uh, just one bit of information, uh, this shop here is run by a dis uh, disciple of Watanabe, a quite famous shop near Takanobaba station. And uh, you, uh, I think you can really def uh, see a kind of like parallels uh, from that shop here, uh, especially in terms of quality and execution. Really well made, uh, probably one of the best shops in this area right away, <laughs> a couple of months after opening. And yeah, stiff competition of like the other, uh, sh for the other Shio ramen shops here in the area that we have Seija, Seijo Seika, just uh, I think one or two shops down. Uh, Shiro Kuro is not too far from here. Overall, I would say a really nice ramen area, you know, if you want to get a, a couple of bowls in uh, back to back. And yeah, if you want to check out uh, his ramen in the future, go to Berlin, check out Instagram at Kuma Ramen. And uh, yeah, I think that's all from us that's for all. today. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll thanks see you in the next one.